in this project you are going to need a jumper dress or a sweater dress and it has a drop sleeve and a ribbed edge at the bottom in order to create this amazing jumper or sweater. So what I'm going to do is give this a new armhole, which is going to be a setting sleeve. This is a drop sleeve. And then I'm going to cut it in half. And then I'm going to remove the bottom section, the rib section. And that will allow me to add that to the new length to this jumper sweater. So let's get started. Do decide on your desired length. Mine is going to be roughly here. Do remember to include seam allowance. Okay. And repeat that measurement on the opposite side. I'm now ready to cut off the lower section and turn that to the wrong side. And I'm going to cut it singly because it's not all that even. So I'll start here. I'm going to remove any beads that will possibly get in the way. Not possibly, they will get in the way actually. So I'll remove any of those beads. So with your ribbing that's still on the wrong side, this is the right side, place it in position, remove the beads, if you have beads on your project, match up the side seams, place pins, and then take it to your sewing machine. The ribbon has been sewn back on, carefully going over this section here. You can overlock if you wish. So I'm ready to cut the sleeve half hole shape, turn it to the wrong side. Okay, shoulder measurement. Remember to add seam allowance. And I'll go a little bit below that arm underarm. So I'm going to cut that kind of curved shape. You can always place a pattern on top of this in order to create the armhole shape if you just don't want to freehand like I am doing. That's fine, that's great. So I'm just going to come in a little bit on the front because that is the shape of sleeves, an armhole I should say. The back is always slightly bigger. A little slip there and repeat that shape on the opposite side. Now I am ready to Cut out the sleeve, so this is the middle section of the dress. So you can use any pattern, sleeve pattern that you like. I draft my own pattern, so this is a self drafted pattern, and it has a lot of gathers at the top. So 
this is the pattern I'm going to use. Place that in position like so. Get another one. And then I'm going to cut. I'm not going to shape down the sides because I don't I want a, a minimum amount of waste as possible. So I am just going to cut all the way around and then I am going to just cut along the seams. I do have a video tutorial on how to do the gather, how to insert a gather sleeve and how to insert a sleeve. So please check the description for those video tutorials. So now I have the original sleeve and it is a drop shoulder sleeve. So this would be straight, but I don't want to get rid of this section and just see what kind of interesting shape of sleeve that I do get. Um, yeah, it matches up pretty well. So I'm going to sew this onto that so it becomes one sleeve and do the same with the other. So I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and just sew all the way around. And then it will be ready to be inserted into the main body of the jumper. This is the shape of the new sleeve with this section in here. So it's got a bit of an usual feature here. <laughs> this little bump here, but that's fine. And now I'm ready to set it into the top. I've done The sleeves are now inserted and I've just got one final stage and then it will be completed and that is to help the sleeves to the puffs to actually stick out a little bit more like that. I'm going to put a sleeve head in there and I've got just the right amount left over from the scraps. This curve it into the shape there this is going to be the sleeve head yeah and then I get this is wadding just get some wadding and cut around let's do that twice Okay, that's going to be for the other one. I'm going to go to my sewing machine, could be a sewing machine, could be a serger, your overlocker, and just sew along this edge here. And then be ready to insert into your sleeve. The sleeve roll is now complete. It's been flattened, it's been pressed. Now it's ready to be inserted into the sleeve. So get this edge and I up against the raw edge, so the curved edge is facing inside the sleeve. Make sure that's halfway. Yeah. Place pins. Okay, and now all I'm going to do is a very loose slip stitch. The sleeve rolls are now in place. So we should have some amazing looking puff gathered sleeves make a statement. 
So all I need to do now is try it on. And it's done. Look at these sleeves. They're gorgeous. So those sleeves have just helped to bring them out, giving a bit more definition. It's got a, a mutton of leg sleeve vibe to it. Sleeves are super long, which I love. Absolutely do love that. Yeah, that's a good project. Yeah, my job is done.